Welcome to Landing Mode, the travel channel that lands on the most amazing spots in the world. Today, I invite you to join me on a tour to two unforgettable destinations located in Israel. One is the last Jewish fortress to fall to the Roman Empire, Masada, and the other is the lowest sea on the planet, where the only forms of life there exist are bacteria and fungus, the Dead Sea. We're leaving from Jerusalem, so, in order to be able to see the sunrise from Masada we need to ride a tour bus that leaves at 4 a.m. from Jerusalem to the entrance of Masada, located at the Judean Desert. Once the bus arrive, you buy the entrance ticket and start the hike to the hilltop. The walk itself is a steep climb, so it's best to be prepared with the right equipment. Make sure you bring a good pair of boots, a big bottle of water, and a flashlight. Hiking Masada in the dark can be an exhilarating and unforgettable experience. It's like stepping back in time and will be a hike that you never forget. The experience starts with a breathtaking view over the Judean desert. As you hike higher and higher you will enjoy the magical view of the sun rising behind the high mountains of Jordan and the shining Dead Sea. I recommend you take short breaks to enjoy the view and drink some water, but don't take too long breaks because you don't want to miss seeing the complete sunrise seating at Masada with the Dead Sea on your feet. Masada is a desert fortress located atop an isolated rocky plateau in the Judean desert of Israel. There are two ways to get to the hilltop. One is hiking, the other is riding a cable car from the entrance all the way up to Masada. Once you make to the top and enter Masada, find a place to seat and enjoy a sunrise I guarantee that you will never forget in your life. After enjoying the sunrise, go for walk around the ruins of Masada. It is one of the most famous historical and archaeological sites in the world. The Masada fortress dates back to the 1st century CE, when King Herod the Great constructed a safe enclave for himself and his family. At the site, you also can see a maquette of how Masada looked like before being destroyed. Once atop the plateau, visitors are met with breathtaking views of the Dead Sea and the Nejef Desert. Archaeologists have uncovered documents that tell stories of the last days of the 967 Masada inhabitants, when they chose to take their own lives in the face of the Roman siege rather than surrender to the Roman Empire. From Masada, you still can see the ruins of the site, used by the Romans, to camp and prepare to invade Masada. They built a 600 meters earth ramp all the way to the hilltop and invaded Masada just to find out that all its inhabitants had committed suicide right before the invasion. The site has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it is an important destination for tourists from all over the world. Are you looking for a unique and unforgettable vacation? Look no further than Masada, in Israel. At Masada, you can explore the ruins of an ancient palace and fortress, built by King Herod the Great in the 1st century BC. With stunning views of the surrounding Judean desert, you can learn more about the ancient civilizations that once inhabited this magnificent place. No matter what you choose to do at Masada, you are sure to have a fantastic and remarkable trip. From the history and culture to the stunning views and activities, Masada is truly a must-visit destination that you won't forget. After an amazing time at Masada on a hot day, let's go on a short trip to cool down and float on the lowest sea on the planet, the Dead Sea. But before we go, we would like to invite you to be part of our growing Landing Mode family. If you like our content, you know what to do and welcome to the family. The Dead Sea has its name because the water is so salty that it cannot sustain most forms of life. Only some types of bacteria and fungus can survive in the Dead Sea. Because of the high salinity, the water has a very high density, making it difficult to swim in its waters. One very important tip, before I forget. 
It is a must to take a flip-flop to the Dead Sea because the beach is made of hard mud and it gets so hot it can burn your feet in a way you can't imagine. The Dead Sea is a natural phenomenon situated in the Jordan Valley between Israel, Jordan, and the West Bank of the Palestinian territories. It holds a deep and time-honored history that goes back for thousands of years. The earliest known mention of the Dead Sea dates back to the 8th century BC in Egyptian writings. The Egyptians referred to the sea as the Sea of Salt, and at that time, the area around the sea was home to the Edomite and Moabite kingdoms. These early civilizations believed the waters of the Dead Sea to be medicinal, and they were known to collect salts and minerals from the evaporating lake. The Romans and Greeks heavily promoted the mythical healing powers of the waters, and pilgrims from all over the eastern Mediterranean began to visit the lake. Production of paper-like scrolls, called parchment, began at the Dead Sea as early as the 3rd century BCE, and a nearby city, Ein Gedi, became a center of Jewish scholarship by the end of the Byzantine period. As the area prospered, the waters began to rise and sink and the salt deposits became increasingly concentrated. Today, the Dead Sea is the world's lowest location on land at more than 1,400 feet below sea level, and its salt concentration is up to 10 times higher than ocean water. Though no longer a thriving commercial area, the Dead Sea remains an alluring destination for its mythic healing potential and its unique and ancient history. Visitors continue to flock to the area to experience its ancient culture and remarkable setting, making the Dead Sea one of the most popular travel destinations in the Middle East. Visiting the Dead Sea is an incredible experience that offers something for everyone. From the unique experience of swimming in its salty waters to the fantastic views, there is truly something for everyone to enjoy. Whether it's to relax and soak up the sun or to explore the many attractions and activities, the Dead Sea is an unforgettable experience that will leave you with lasting memories.